Hey everyone, welcome to Creative Venus. And today we will learn how to design this awesome, beautiful business infographic slide. And we have created it uh, using the morph transition. And this is very easy to design. I hope you will like this template. So before moving further, please watch this. Create beautiful business charts and diagrams easily with the help of eDraw Max. It is all in one business diagram tool that helps you increase your productivity at work. It has hundreds of pre built business diagrams, free templates, symbols, icons, charts, and much more. eDraw Max helps in saving time, enables you to work faster, and help you focus more on presenting the information in a better way. You can easily select the diagram, edit the information, and use it in your presentations and business documents. For more information about eDraw Max, refer to the links in the video description. So please subscribe to our channel, join the membership and hit like and share buttons and that way you will support us and motivate us which is very important to us. So the very first step is to insert a shape here and as you can see on our screen we have inserted this square shape. Now remove its outline which is very important. In my every video, the first thing I do is I remove the outline of the shape. Now the next step is 3D rotation. The idea here is to create an isometric kind of design where we want to showcase a, a ladder style or steps increasing towards a higher number or something like that. The whole idea here is to present steps coupled with growth. There is an increase like step 1, step 2, step 3 and like step 5. So this goes from step 1 to step 5 but you can increase or decrease depending upon your uh, steps. Uh, I mean how many pointers are there in your list. So that totally depends upon the topic of your slide. As you can see on your screen, uh, designing it is really easy. I've just inserted a square, selected 3D rotation. I've just increased the depth and this diagram is looking really awesome now insert this another square and change its angle using 3d rotation this is a scale that i have created so it will help me to align these boxes in straight line like this It is really important to draw this blue scale here because otherwise you will not be able to place these in a straight line from this 3D perspective. As you can see I have only created this infographic in just 4 steps basically. For example the first step was inserted a square, second was 3D rotation, the third was to increase its depth, and fourth was to align these in a straight line. The next part would be to apply reflection and shadow effect, which I'm doing at the moment. You just need to select all these, apply reflection. You can move these sliders based on your choices and how you want to showcase and how much reflection you need to make it look beautiful so those are subjective now comes the next step that is filling the colors so make sure the colors that you're filling should be in sync with your brand guidelines logo guidelines and the template color scheme if your template is following a blue green color scheme then this diagram should be in a blue green color scheme so make sure you follow the guidelines. So 
so I am filling here gradient colors so this is a two stop gradient on the first stop I have filled a dark color and on the second stop I have filled the light color selecting a color scheme is an art and it is always important to select the right color scheme so here I have filled blue green yellow orange and purple color scheme and this is one of my favorite color scheme so once you have filled this color scheme we will change the material type for that you have to select all these shapes one by one or you can press ctrl a and next is to select metal from the 3d material and you can also change the lighting angle as well for any presentation slide text styling is always important make sure the text color is always contrasting it should match the background in terms of the visibility for example if the background is light and your text is also light in color so it will create some visibility issues it will also affect the content consumption when you will present your slide so make sure you choose the right color also keep it simple with the font don't use the fonts which are not readable make sure fonts are clearly visible and clearly depicting the text there are some fonts which are which you know look which look good uh, from design perspective but when it comes to readability those fonts create hindrance between the user and the presentation so make sure font is correct also please keep the spacing in check make sure the spacing is uh, uh, proper between the font and shapes around it there should be proper breathing space between items especially text also make sure nothing is overlapping so those things really annoy the reader and it will defeat the purpose why you have built or designed this presentation so make sure the spacing is correct next is alignment which i always speak about in my every presentation alignment is very important also you should al always ensure that your text is structured it shouldn't be like here and there or random placement make sure it follows a theme or a structure when placed and you can also support your text with the help of icons or some numbers if you have some stats to showcase make sure you use them effectively effectively or you can use icons to present the text so text designing is always important and I have seen various presentations where people give importance to design of the shapes but not the text they just randomly place the text here and there on their presentations and there is no point of doing that so the text should be minimal it's not a document it's a presentation where you want to showcase minimum yet impactful information so that's more important another thing which is very important and i've always told make sure a design is such and its element should be such that these elements can be reused that will save your time for example i've used this text in all these five shapes now our design is complete now we will apply the morph transition and it is the most easiest part of designing any presentation you just need to place the components and morph transition will take care of it so the first step is to duplicate the slides six times 
from the first slide remove the infographic design and write the title of your slide or heading of the diagram for example growth process or phase wise approach or financial year growth plan anything so i'm just keeping random things here like my brand name and i've written achievements so this is this will be our first slide so most designing is tricky but it's very easy it's animated based on the position of the item where you have placed the item on the next slide so for the first slide we only need this one shape and its text so when user will land on this slide he will see only this first shape and on the previous slide paste it outside of the slide area similarly on the third slide you have to keep only two shapes and the text and copy this second shape and text and place it on the second slide outside the slide area anywhere and repeat the process for all the six slides so what will happen is when you will view this presentation in the slideshow mode these shapes which are placed outside of the slide area will animate and these shapes will move to the to their position as you will um, as you will press next on the slide so this is how morph transition works and it's one of the greatest feature of the powerpoint and it is very important that you master this technique to create very beautiful presentations that will help you succeed so i hope you will like the design of this slide so here is the final output that we have created look at this beautiful morph transition that's happening on your screen at the moment and as you will keep on pressing the next these boxes will keep on appearing so here you can apply your own thoughts and you can create something totally different so thanks for watching guys so please subscribe to our channel join the membership hit the like button share this video with maximum number of users and thanks for watching this video till the end so you can also do one more thing you can follow us on instagram twitter facebook and you can download this slide from the cheat drive link given in the video description bye bye